Hey, 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 I'm back with a new video and this was much requested from a previous video that I posted which was the budget friendly starter makeup kit video. A lot of you wanted to know about the brushes that I use and how I use them. So I'm going to show you how I do it right now. So the first one is my powder brush. It's a simple powder brush. You don't have to spend loads of money to get a good makeup brush. This brush is perfect for applying loose powder, pressed powder, and it just evenly distributes the powder onto your skin. The next brush that I use is a blush slash bronzing brush. I also use it here and there sometimes to contour, but that's if you, you know, practice a little bit and you'll get the hang of it. But it's good for applying blush, bronzer, and the angled brush really helps, you know, follow the line of your cheek just so you can apply it in the correct place. The next brush that I love, I really love this brush, is the stippling brush. It's used to apply your foundation flawlessly. It gives you an airbrush finish. You use it by buffing it in a circular motion and it just makes your foundation look amazing. And it's super soft. The next brush that I use is another foundation brush, but this one is a little different. It's flat and it's round, it's really soft. With this brush, you wanna use small back and forth strokes, kind of like you're painting your face to apply the foundation. And it's also good for using it to highlight under your eyes if you like that whole Kim Kardashian highlight. The next brush, which many of us cannot live without, is the angled brush. This brush is perfect to fill in your eyebrows. You can create a cat eye with it with a gel liner, and it could also be used to smudge the eyeshadow into your lash line. The next brush is a blending brush. I use this to blend out my shadow. It helps blur lines, blend edges. It applies sheer to medium coverage, and it can be used clean to blend out existing eyeshadow. The next shadow brush is the blending tip shadow brush. This brush is great to help smoke out your shadow and it can also be used to precisely place the shadow, mainly in the crease or the outer corner. The next brush is the concealer brush. I know everybody knows what this is. It helps to perfect spot concealing and it can also be used to clean up your lips when lipstick bleeds around the corners. Another brush that I use is the Precision Eyeshadow Brush. This brush is great for packing on the shadow onto your eyes, especially pigments. It really, really makes the color intense and vibrant. Okay, okay, stroke. The next brush is a large shadow brush, and this is really good for sweeping on highlighter, especially on your brow bone. The next brush is a smudging brush, and this I use to apply highlighter in my inner tear duct, and it can also be used to diffuse your eyeliner. Now for those of you out there who don't want to spend so much money on loads of brushes, they have two-sided brushes. This brush is an angled brush and a spoolie brush in one. The angled side is great for filling in your brows, and the spoolie helps blend it out. This brush is a blush slash contour brush, which is great because you can apply your blush on one side and you can use the other side to contour and chisel or bronze up your face. You can also use the larger side to apply powder foundation. I got this brush from Target, it's Shea Moisture. The cool thing about these brushes, they're super easy to find and they're affordable and they really save time and get the job done. Here's another double-sided brush. It's an angled liner and shadow brush. This one is also from Shea Moisture, and it's cool because the fluffy side is an angled side, and it deposits a lot of shadow. You use it in your crease, and you could also use the angled side for your eyebrows or your eyeliner. Another great double-sided brush is this foundation and concealer brush in one. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Another brush that I use is the fan brush. I love this brush because it is perfect for applying highlighter on the cheekbones and your nose. It's really light, fluffy, and soft. And the last brush that I love to use is the small stippling brush. You can use this to apply your foundation just like the large stippling brush. It's also great to be used under the eyes to apply highlight and it's really great to blend out cream and blush bronzers. 
And that's it. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. Please comment below and let me know what you want to see next. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe. Deuces. Uh, mm, uh, mm, uh.